Today I'll be going over how to create a texture mod for DCS. The first step is to open your DCS install folder. For this example I'll be using Black Shark, but this is compatible with any DCS product. As you'll see in a moment their file structures are very similar. The texture files we're looking for are located in Bazaar, Temp Textures. From here locate the files that you wish to modify and open them in your editing software. With the texture files open, we can now start modifying them to our desired preference. If you've ever used a program like Paint before, this should be a simple process. As you finish modifying each file, save them to your desktop so you can easily find them later once you're finished. In this example, I'll be modifying the cockpit interior so that the interior panels have a blue paint rather than black. With the files completed and saved, back up the originals in case you aren't satisfied with your results or if something goes wrong. The final step is to copy the modified texture files into your DCS install directory. You can copy them in directly, or you can create a mod folder for use with the mod enabler as I'll be doing in this example. When creating a mod folder for use with a mod enabler, the important part is to make sure that the file structure is the same as the file structure used in DCS. That way when it gets copied in, it can route the files exactly where they need to go. You can see I already copied it in, but for the sake of this example, I'll delete it and paste the new one. Now that we've created the mod, we open up the mod enabler, enable the mod, and then run DCS. Here you're able to see the new textures with the worn blue paint as I modified the textures to have. I only spent about 20 minutes creating these textures, but you can see how if you're creative, you can probably create some pretty amazing results. I got the idea from a Russian modder who created a blue cockpit mod. His textures looked a little too clean for my liking, and I wanted something a little more worn out. I'm pretty happy with the results.